Now the formatting that we have so far dealing with the font is really only one aspect of formatting and it's a pretty small one. We just made something bold and changed the font size. Now we've also got colors that we can throw into the mix as well. Not just for the font, but for the background as well. Take a look. I want the background of my bills, or excuse me, of my headers here, to be a different color. So my first step, remember this? You gotta highlight the cell or cells that you wanna format. So with all of those highlighted there, I'm gonna go back to home, underneath my font section, I've got what looks like a little paint bucket. And if I give that a click, I got all these other colors that I can pick from to change the background of these cells. Now I like blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this kind of darker blue here. And I think that looks pretty good. Nice blue headers there. Now blue and black, it looks good, but maybe it's, there's not enough contrast in there. So once again, I'll highlight those cells, A4 to F4. And I'm gonna change the font color, just the capital A right there. I'm gonna change it to white. Get some nice, strong contrast in there. Blue background, white font. Looks pretty slick. So you can not only change the font, you can change the font color, you can also change the background of the cells themselves. And once again, it creates a lot of separation between the data. You know, maybe I wanna do the same thing with my totals here. I'll grab my totals. Maybe I wanna grab these totals as well. So I'm gonna hold down my control key and also grab these. Your control key will allow you to select non-contiguous groups of cells. So once I've got that all highlighted, I'll go back up to my little paint bucket and maybe I'm gonna make this kind of a, a light gray. And once again, just even something small like that, I've created some separation in here. I'm gonna do the same thing with my bills here. Let's make this even a lighter gray, go really, really light. Let's go that one right there. I think that looks good. So once again, separation in there, making it a little more accessible, a little more readable, drawing the user's attention now. Now we're focused in on those amounts because they're so different than the rest of the data out there. So try this out. Add some color to your document. Change the font color, the little A button up above. Change the background of your cells. Highlight a group of cells. Use the paint bucket add some life to this document and start to lead the users, draw their attention to specific areas and create separation between the different sets of content. Try it out.